she had probably had maybe three or four hours of sleep in the previous 40 hours or so. Uh, and she admitted she was very tired. She was aware that she was nodding off behind the wheel and she thought that she could get home before she fell asleep. And uh, the consequences were disastrous. It was the middle of the afternoon and, and a bright, sunny day. My son Kevin was riding his bicycle. He was on the shoulder of the road coming home from uh, having played tennis with his friends. She had been working all night and most of the previous day and uh, she nodded off just long enough to, um, to veer off the road. His head hit the uh, the windshield of her car and he was thrown uh, about 15 or 20 feet from the car into some bushes off the side of the road. When she realized that she had hit something, she stopped the car uh, and she thought that she had hit a mailbox or a tree and then she sped away. My wife and I left the house to go do some shopping and uh, drove up on the scene of the accident. And I, I realized that it, um, it involved Kevin when I saw uh, his bicycle by the side of the road. They informed us that he had suffered a very serious head injury. And uh, on Monday, a day and a half later, we were told that he was effectively uh, brain dead. We removed him from life support uh, later that afternoon. <sighs> Kevin Mackey. First of all, I want to graduate from a good college and become a professional soccer player. <laughs> he was uh, the youngest of four. He had three older sisters. Uh, they really loved him. And uh, they doted on him. Uh, he was very bright, um, very precocious, just a very typical boy, and I loved him very much. The woman who was responsible for hitting him returned uh, when she was able to admit to herself what she had done and turned herself in. There was a trial. She was charged with three misdemeanor counts because she wasn't drunk, she wasn't speeding, and by law, her negligence was not considered to be as serious as uh, if she had been drinking. She got uh, six months work release, uh, jail time, um, and she was fined a thousand dollars or so. Her mistake was in not recognizing that she was tired and that um, she was impaired. Just prior to the sentencing hearing, my wife gave her a picture of Kevin as a reminder of what, of what we had lost and what Kevin had lost. Kevin lost his life and she was responsible for it and um, she's going to have to live with that for the rest of her life.